President Biden spent less than two minutes addressing the war in Ukraine when he delivered his State of the Union speech. In fact, the bulk of his remarks were centered on domestic issues. The president shied away from talking about what many believe will be two of his greatest challenges going forward, an aggressive Russia and China. Our next guest, however, has offered a more grim assessment in his latest op-ed titled uh, Robert Wilkie, the former Under Secretary of Defense for Readiness, writes, for all its boasting of foreign policy expertise, the Biden administration has overseen the most catastrophic failures in foreign policy history. Well, Robert Wilkie is also the former U.S. Secretary of Veterans Affairs, and he joins us now. Secretary Wilkie, welcome. Uh, President Biden's remarks on Tuesday left a lot to be desired as comments on China and Russia were reduced to a few lines. But as you suggest in your opinion piece, this is a symptom of a much bigger problem. Well, you're right, Kelman, and I actually feel vindicated. Yesterday, foreign affairs, the voice of the traditional American foreign policy establishment, their lead story is Biden's foreign policy is a mess. That was the headline, and the subheadline was the White House has failed. Uh, we are retreating across the globe. We have not seen phenomena like this since Jimmy Carter. Um, the Chinese balloon uh, exploit is just the latest in a series of failures that uh, began with the debacle in Afghanistan, uh, the collapse of our relationships with Arab neighbor, Arab, Arab friends who are confronting the theocratic fanatics in, in Tehran. And across the globe, our former allies are looking to themselves for safety because they can't trust this administration. In terms of the message that the U.S. has sent to China, there's actions and words. You reference an exchange with China's foreign minister and Secretary Blinken and China increasing its warplane flights into Taiwan's air defense zone following America's withdrawal from Afghanistan. What's been the long term impact here? Well, the long-term the long impact is that the Chinese are traditional communists. When they, when they push and strike mush, they keep pushing. When they strike steel, they pull back. Um, they are increasing their threats on Taiwan. In the last administration, they stayed on their side of the Taiwan Straits. In the last administration, uh, Vladimir Putin stayed in his box. The only time he strayed away from uh, his fear of President Trump and the Trump administration, 300 of his mercenaries disappeared in the Syrian desert because they got too close to our troops. What we're doing is emboldening a, a militant communist power. And all this administration can do is repeat faculty lounge pieties about China being a competitor a friendly competitor. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs has said that on numerous occasions. Now, can one imagine Ronald Reagan or Richard Nixon saying that the Soviet Union was a friendly competitor? It is clear from Xi Jinping and his generals that they seek the overthrow of the liberal world order led by the United States since the end of World War One, And they are doing that by slowly eroding our credibility, particularly in Asia, because our Asian allies cannot trust this administration. As for the war in Ukraine, you paint very clearly what both Moscow and Kyiv's goals are, but you say that the Biden administration does not have what military doctrine calls a desired end state. What should that be? Well, that should be the, the removal of Vladimir Putin from Ukraine, and that's what the Ukrainians desire. I'll give you an example. The president made a great deal about saying we're going to send 41 Abrams tanks to the Ukrainians. Well, that's not something that's going to happen right away. He's making the Ukrainians go through the acquisition and distribution process, which means they have to fill out everything in quadruplicate. Those tanks will not be available probably until next year. And in the meantime, we are going to see a massive Russian offensive. We're starting to see the beginnings of that. Uh, thank goodness our friends on the front line in Finland and Poland are sending hundreds of tanks to the Ukrainians to thwart Putin's plans. But again, this administration is leading from behind. And, and again, if you, want, if you want proof as to where that gets the United States, all you have to do is go down to Plains, Georgia, and talk to President Carter. Secretary Wilkie, we appreciate you being here. Thank you, sir. Thank you.